9 a.m. Forest Hill, South London, Team Mars Charity Shop, the only one in the area. Wimbledon, an affluent area, and the tennis is on. Can the girls take advantage? Team Venus begins to set up shop. The girls come prepared. We've got the, the store promotion outside. You can see we've um, been increasing the, number, the amount of good quality designer label type stock. We've got new stock. The boys decide to wing it. <laughs> the girls have got the better shop. They're planned because they're girly swats, as they do. But, um, you know, we're pretty confident. We've got a few tricks up our sleeve and we're pretty happy we're going we're gonna to win. Swatting up? Well, I think that's what it's all about, really, isn't it? I mean... You've got to do a good job. I don't think we'd be doing the British Red Cross justice if we thought that we weren't going to try very hard. So I'm really glad if people think we're SWATs and I've never been, mind of being called a girly SWAT before. So I take it as a compliment. First up, the boys. They start a raffle and then decide on a risky strategy to give some of the money away. We're trying to give people one pound coins. No? Excuse me. What about me? If you're going to spend money in the Red Cross store, that's what we're trying to get oh. people to do. Yeah, not so much. We're trying to give people one pound coins to go and spend the Red Cross store. Would be interested. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All you've literally got to do, we trust you, go into the shop, okay. take the money. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You give me one pound, so I spend the one pound twenty extra from my money. So you know, that's good, I think. I think it's really, really good. Really good. They've come up with some really surprising things. Never thought of offering someone a pound to come in and spend, you know, which is really <laughs> excellent. The girls get along with balloons, a free raffle, and strawberries and cream, and they brought a helper. You've got to, it's got to be people that are kind of more sort of wandering around rather than actually looking like they're on a mission. But yeah, no, definitely, it's definitely bringing people in. So. We've decided that we wanted to try and get as many people into the shop as possible and we were doing that via sort of various methods of promotion and some of the things you can see we've got outside in the boards and special offers and getting high quality stock. The boys up the ante and go online. So Andy set up this Just Giving page, which is brilliant, saying basically bribe our suppliers that we are you know, we're doing this, we'll mention you in the um, Institute of Fundraising gala thing. And this morning we were really excited, 650 quid, and two hours later, still 650 quid. But the girls are on line two. Well, we've brought loads of stuff with us. We've got loads of toys and loads of women's clothes and some men's trainers, and they're all selling like hotcakes. All as we can't steam and put the stuff out fast enough, which is fantastic. Andy is struggling to set up an online auction site, so he calls in the big guns. Never find the wife. <laughs> Where were the buttons? At the bottom on my screen, you've got yeah. home search, my eBay, sell and settings. Okay then. Right, Have a good day. Anybody? Bye. Oh, rats. It's not going to work, is it? On one of the hottest days of the year, the pressure is on to make money. Do you think we should get to a certain point in the day and then just knock the prices down so that we can start so selling can start stuff selling. Yeah, if things don't move? So can I interest you in this? It's a special edition Leon wow. Blu-ray. Never even opened, never been watched. That's a good deal, that is. It's only three pounds. I know you can't see the price on it, but I'm giving it to you for a special offer yeah. price. Lovely. Great, Thanks thank you much. very much. I think the only thing I might find is that um, because the shop's quite small, and I've already got all my own stock here, but it's a bit chaotic. It's down to Nick to collect donations. Look at that! A bottle of fizz and two bottles of wine. Well, it's going the worst I'll just drink at the end of the day. Okay. Richard hits the phones and sells himself. Now, uh, my challenge is to raise as much money as I can this uh, today. 
okay? Now, what I'm uh, ringing you about is essentially selling myself as a billboard for the Tuesday night. So, the billboard is you can uh, decide uh, how you want me branded and I will quite happily uh, take up that branding. And the girls are out leafleting. And I'm quite interested in the Red Cross shop, can I? The auction site is up, but half the day has gone. Hours and hours. Anyone who thought online was instant, don't be fooled. The girls are struggling too. This is our first break of the day. I got up at 5.30 this morning to get here. It's just, it's just like hell. Fine bag. Match. What do you think, Rich? Uh, it's, it's a sight. It's definitely going to attract attention. As the boys like around, it's all quiet on the shop floor. The judges arrive. And I've been here about 10 minutes and haven't seen anybody. So nobody came and encouraged me to buy. The girl's shop floor is busy. So they've done lots of things right. They're obviously much more coordinated, even down to the look. I mean, they have that, they have a little branding look. Um, but will it work? You see, you can do everything right. Does it actually deliver the results? So I know at the moment, I've just been looking at the, la the last figures, both from the boys' team and from girls' team. Very, very, very close. But the boys have some good news. Guess what, guys? We made our target. £3,400. And there's some good news for the girls. Sales on the till are up. It's really good. We're actually, um, yeah, we're on what we're just over what we're normally at this time of day. So that's pretty good. Well, I think we'll have done the girls proud. Um, and we've done, we've done so much here today and we've got lots of other strings to our bows so hopefully it'll be a really varied form of fundraising and we'll have done a lot for the shop for the future raising their profile and bringing in new customers and hopefully giving them loads of really good stock that they maybe didn't have before so even if we don't win, which we may well still win then I think that we're going to have a, a sustainable fundraising strategy for this shop. nearly closing time. Both teams pull out the stops. Pound? No gags, you just need to spend it in the shop. PM. Time to close shop and time to count the pennies. It's about taking part. Of course, we are going to win, so that's all good. Everybody seems to be enjoying it, and I'm having a great day, so I don't think we could be doing any more. If it doesn't go well, um, it won't be for the lack of trying. Which team will be the winner?